Why millet and sorghum are good for Africa? Over the past decade, Africa has experienced frequent droughts. Therefore, Africa has to go back to millet and sorghum as the food source. The number one reason for this is climate change. Cereals like millet and sorghum are the most resilient and climate adaptable crops for harsh, hot and dry environments that Africa often experiences. Millet and sorghum thrive in low rainfall of only 350 to 400 millimeters of annual rain. There are some varieties of millet that can survive in temperatures of over 60 degrees Celsius. The third reason is that millet and sorghum require a shorter time to harvest, usually between 60 and 65 days to mature, versus the 100 to 140 days for maize and wheat. Millet and sorghum adapt to a wide range of soil conditions, including poor and low fertility soils. The fourth reason is that they prevent diseases. Millet has multiple benefits, including low glycemic index, which helps in managing blood glucose levels and prevents diabetes. Millet is also high in antioxidants, which lowers heart disease and prevents cancer. It has folic acid and is easily digestible. Millet and sorghum are more nutritious. One kg of pearl millet contains 75 milligrams of iron. It also contains zinc, which reduces anemia and stunting. Millet and sorghum are indigenous. Sorghum, pearl millet and finger millet are indigenous African cereals. Unlike maize and wheat, they are adapted to Africa's semi-arid and subtropical agronomic conditions. Reason number seven is that they're easier to store. Some African farmers have reported that they have stored millet and sorghum for up to 20 years. Usually they are stored between three to five years. Unlike maize, which can only be stored for eight months before it requires some protectants. And reason number eight. The millet and sorghum seed is affordable and can usually be obtained from neighbors and exchanged. The seed is also more affordable for African farmers.